What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about Core Essentials Tactical Belt and Garrison Belt. Welcome back everybody and like I said we're going to be talking about Core Essentials Tactical Belt and their Garrison Belt. Now just some side notes they also have a leather belt and they have a western belt. Okay now to just some brief descriptions or differences I should say between those um, is the load rating. So their leather belt is something that you would get you know if you're wanting to uh, wear something nice out. Uh, it only holds four pounds of gear. Uh, the Western belt is, of course, pretty much what it describes. It's going to be a Western style belt with a Western style belt buckle. It holds six pounds of gear. The tactical belt that I have and has been uh, my main everyday carry, or I should say everyday wear, is eight pounds of gear. Their garrison belt holds 10 pounds of gear. So that is the big differences are their load ratings. And then of course as well, uh, some of how they look. As you can see, the tactical belt and the garrison belt have that nylon style look uh, to give you that more tactical look, I guess you could say. Uh, but the big difference here is one, the load rating. You've got eight pounds of gear, 10 pounds of gear, this is an inch and a half. This is an inch and three quarters. So a little bit thicker. Of course, that's probably what's gonna help it with holding the more weight, but it has their, what they call their power core. Uh, so what that does is it keeps it from folding up or what I call tacoing. So when you're looking for a good everyday carry belt, all right, what you wanna look for is you wanna put it in your hand like this a little bit better with this like this right here all right so i'm laying it across my hand just like this and then i'm going to close my hand and i'm going to try or you can wrap it up like this all right where it's right at my knuckles and i'm trying to squeeze it shut where the belt tacos so if this belt were to just fold in half or your belt i should say just folds in half probably not a good belt you want to use for an everyday carry uh, especially if you're carrying a gun all right, as you can see, there's no, there's no taco in this thing. So, I mean, you can see the indention on my hand. It's not like I was faking. So if you can get this thing to taco, then you and I need to talk and I need to see what you're doing to get your grip strength up. All right, this is a very well-made belt. Again, it's called their power core center that keeps it from folding up. Uh, when it latches, as you can see right here, it's got little ridges on, okay? And then it's got their little spring-loaded mechanism right here. All right, so if you listen, so there you go. And this thing does not come loose. Think about it like a zip tie. That's essentially what this thing's doing. All right, and then if I want to undo it, I pull, pull that in, and there you go. It runs right through there. You ain't got to worry about belt loops or, or the little belt hook and holes. There you go. Push it, comes right out. So if you're out and you're carrying and had a little too much to eat, you need to loosen it up a little bit. There you go. It's just simple. Push that lever right there. All right, the other thing I like about it, I don't know if you can quite see right here, all right, but it's already got your inch increments in it. So it lets you know exactly where to cut. This is kind of a one size fits all belt. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it goes from a 29 inch waist all the way up to a 54. And then you just cut it. Same thing with all their belts are like that. See, it's got the 
I hope y'all can see it. If not, you'll be able to see it on their website. I'll have their website down below, but it's got inch increments right here. So if I start losing a little bit of weight, I can just start cutting it down to where I want it. So and the same thing, all their belts have this little, you might not hear this one because I've, <laughs> I've kind of worn this one, but it's going in, you can see it's in there. They've all got the little ratchet system. All their belts are like that. So that was the kind of the one size fits all was a, a big factor for me. And then the way they have that ratchet system, because that way if I need to loosen it or tighten, it's very easily done. I'm not having to sit there and pull it back, pull, uh, fool with it. It's a quick, easy in and out. Also, when you get it, it comes with this little hanger. And then all you got to do is, there you go, right down in there, put this one on, and then you can hang them up. So just like the ratchet system, okay, same thing with this. When I want to take it off, push the lever, there you go, it's off. This one, push the lever, take it out. So that's another great thing that they'll come with is a little hanger. And then they also come with this elastic strap. All right, so if you've got some of this that's hanging out past your belt loops a little too far, all right, you don't want it just sticking out. You've got your little strap here, put it on. There you go. It ain't sticking out, flapping out in the wind and stuff. So I thoroughly enjoy these belts. Uh, this is my, this is the inch and a half. So the tactical belt is more of my everyday carry belt because the holster that I have uh, only fits an inch and a half belt. So something else to think about is you need to see what your holster fits. Uh, now I do have another holster where I can swap out the inch and a half or inch and three quarter. So I could start wearing this if I wanted to. Uh, I've worn them both. Uh, they both feel really comfortable. Uh, they're not uncomfortable when I sit down. I'm a large guy, I've got a little bit of a gut on me. So these pieces, they don't like dig into my gut or anything like that. Uh, what I noticed though, is a lot of people that carry inside the waistband, instead of this sitting right center of your waistline, they slide it over to the side and it makes it easy for them to carry. But this, I have loaded this down. It was maybe, I think everything weighed out like nine and a half pounds of gear, but it held the gear. It didn't sag or anything like that. You know, it wore well, it didn't pull my pants down or anything like that. Now, of course, yes, when I started moving around and kind of running and things like that but i mean hell i've had that happen with battle belts war belts and all that kind of stuff but this held i just i should have probably maybe overloaded it just to see but i was like hey 10 pounds of gear that's a lot of gear i mean i'll be honest with between my gun and an extra mag on my belt because but now you got to think too you in your pockets so that's gonna factor in as well, your wallet in your pocket, any pocket knives, you know, change, all that stuff's gonna factor into the weight. So when I had the garrison belt on, I actually might've been over 10 pounds of gear in general, okay? I didn't necessarily have 10 pounds of gear on the belt itself, but I was probably over 10 pounds of gear between the gear and everything I had in my pockets. But normally, I'm only probably maybe around three to four pounds of gear, if I remember correctly. But I did take, and I've loaded, I loaded this down with eight pounds of gear, which now thinking about the wallet, the cell phone in my pocket, and some of the other stuff might have been a little over eight pounds. But it held very well. It didn't just, I didn't just put it on and automatically started sagging. You know, I didn't have the belt start sagging or anything like that. I mean, you can see how sturdy this belt is. I mean, even the 
well belt buckle. I mean, it's it's a very sturdy belt. So you're getting eight pounds a gear, ten pounds a gear. I, I like both of these belts. Um, now, if I'm running, if I'm actually running a class or something like that, sometimes I do switch over to my safe life belt, but that doesn't mean I'm not using these. All right, these are my, I can't wear my safe life belt for an everyday carry. It's not made that way, it's more of a duty belt. But the core tactical belt, this right here, the inch and, the, inch and a half, is my everyday carry. I will have links to both of these down in the description, but I've been talking about it, I've worn them, I've used both of them. I wanted to wear them for a couple of months before I actually put this review video up. So these, if you're looking for a good quality everyday carry belt, these are some really, really good options. And depending on, you know, what you're wearing, how you dress, they've got the leather belts, they've got the Western wear belts. But for me, this is usually what I'm wearing. One of these two, ultimately, really, I would say this I have probably worn 90% of the time I did wear this just to test it out see how it wore, see how it felt. All right, it didn't dig in my sides or anything crazy like that. So if you're a large frame guy, these are really good options, especially having the option of that lever or switch system where you can just push it, tighten it, loosen it, whatever you need to do. I think that's a really, really good thing. But if you're, again, you're looking for a good belt, these are really, really good options. Uh, I can't say enough uh, great things about Core. You know, I've, I wanna, especially thank them uh i reached out and had them uh, asked if they would send me a belt for a veterans event uh, that we're getting ready to do we it was supposed to be back in may but we had to move it due to weather and uh, they were very very helpful and glad to send me a belt uh, to use as a giveaway in that event because we're raising money for veterans so huge shout out to them for that um appreciate belts you know this is one i had to purchase they did send me the garrison belt to try out so i cannot thank y'all enough uh, for trusting in me uh, to send me these but if you're looking for a good belt folks these are it even even if i hadn't had one of these sent to me i would still be on here telling you this is a good belt because i paid for this out of my own money all right so even if it did, wasn't just sent to me I would still be on here telling you these are good belts. So you're not going to go wrong with these belts. These are well worth the money. Also, something I forgot. If you don't like the buckles, all right, they've got different belt buckles that you can get and switch them to. So that's another great thing. You're able to change it out uh, for what fits your lifestyle and what you have to do because some people can't wear belts like belt one. Belts like these for their particular work or job and have to wear like a leather belt or you know maybe you just uh work on a farm you deal with cattle and horses you want that western belt they've got that option as well too so they've got belts for everything all right no matter what you're doing they've got the belts they've got different buckles depending on what you want to do how you want to look but get on there get you some core belts these are good quality belts you're not going to go wrong you're not going to be disappointed okay all the links will be down in the description for you to take a look at both of these belts, as well as all the links for you to be able to reach out to us. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for the support. I want to thank all of my friends and family for the support, everybody for watching, all of my followers and subscribers. Huge shout out. I know it's been a minute since I've released a video, but things have just been crazy busy in between trying to teach classes and do videos. It does get a little overwhelming. So I'm Trying to do a little bit better getting this stuff out to you. But these are great belts. Check them out. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.